This training video will show you how to set up a class and run type point schedule. You'll start from the main SpeedNet race management software screen and click on the administration tab in the lower left hand corner. Then you're going to click on the third icon down which is the point prize setup. That'll bring you to the point prize module. At the very top you'll be asked for the default point and prize assignment. Now you can assign the points to go with the vehicle which would be if you want the points to go stay with the car number or the vehicle number or you can select the points by default to go to the driver. All right. You can change that on a race by race basis but this is what the default will be. The next thing is your DQ, DNF and DNS options. Pressing that button will bring you to a preferences screen which will let you go in and change the settings for disqualified, DQ'd, did not start, DNS, or did not finish, DNF. For example, you'll see on the disqualified we've put zero points, zero prize money, zero passing, and zero show up points. So if you're disqualified you're getting nothing. A value of 99 in the box means that whatever our our standard point prize payout is that's what they're going to get. In other words there's no penalty for that. Now over here you see we've selected the class late models. We can go in and select modifieds and we can make all classes identical by clicking this button here. And it says are you sure you want to make all classes identical to this one and we can click yes. Now what that's done is that's changed our late models back to where we're not going to change the disqualified points. So that makes it easy. You can go ahead and enter this in. And if it's the same for all classes, then just click Make All Classes Identical, and it will copy it to all your classes. Once you're done, you just close and save. And the next thing we want to take a look at is your point price setup here. It was a red bar in the middle. You'll notice that there's a standard for class and run type, as well as a custom with no class. We're going to start with the standard, which is by class and run type. And we're going to go ahead and pick the class uh, modifieds and a run type of feature. Alright, so that's going to show us that we don't have any points uh, schedule in there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the insert key on my keyboard, because that's about the easiest way to do this, for the number of positions that we're going to pay points for the feature. So let's say I'm going to pay five positions back. Now I can go back on this top one and enter the number of points. Let's say we put ten points here and then we use a down arrow eight points here, six points, four, and two points. Okay, so that's one way that we can enter the feature race points for the modified class by doing it individually. The other way that we could do this, if we already have another class set up that's the same as the modifieds, is we can go to the fifth icon over on the top, which is copy from, click that and say copy from the late model feature race, click OK and now what we've done is we've copied the point schedule from the late model feature race and that saves us the time and trouble of entering each one of them individually. Now for the custom if you select the custom radio button that will let you create a new custom point schedule. So you can call this whatever you want. We'll put a name in here and call it uh, show points for example okay now we can award these by finishing position or we can award them per entrance in the race by finishing position is similar to what we just did for the class and run type if they finish first they get so many points if they finish second they get so many points or we can go per entrant in the race if we select that then we can say the number of points per car let's say we set that to two now what that's going to do is if we have twelve cars in the race then every car is going to get two points per finishing position. So for example the top finisher would get 24 points because he finished 12 times 2 is 24. Second place finisher is going to get 22 points and so on. So you can do the custom either way. Now the good thing about a custom point schedule is that it's not tied to a class. You could use the same custom point schedule for late models, modified, street stocks, any class that you wanted to. And that's how you enter a point schedule.